discuss about the next topic now which is the recurrence relations the topic name is recurrence relations okay so this kind of recurrence relation uh, is uh, you come across this kind of recurrence relation in various subjects for example you have a subject which is algorithm design analysis and even in this recurrence relation are also in discrete mathematics so what what exactly is the recurrence relation this is the relation which repeats itself or recur itself for example if uh, you are from computer science background and you have seen some of uh, the programs like we have math sort we have quick sort and we have other programs where we do recursive programming then uh, the time complexity of those programs we give somewhere like some something like this we write tn is equal to 2t n by 2 plus order of n now this is a you know recurrence relation which is representing uh, both the recurrence relation or the, the time complexity equation for the quick sort as well as the merge sort both are having the same equation okay uh, similar to uh, the same equation because if uh, the partition is from the exactly half you can say it is a quick sort but assuming it is a merge sort only okay now in this merge in this relation you can see the function tn the function tn is calling itself or you can say it is recurring itself so the functions where th the functions which are repeating themselves are called as recurrence relation and these recurrence relations are of uh, different types uh, we can find a recurrence relation which is a homogeneous recurrence relation as well as a non homogeneous recurrence relation you can say we have a homogeneous recurrence relation and we can have a non homogeneous recurrence relation known homogeneous recurrence relations known homogeneous recurrence relations okay and these homogeneous recurrence relations are further divided into different parts like we have the first order recurrence relation the first order recurrence relations then we have you no know, two orders recurrence relation uh, or you can say the second order rec recurrence relation second order recurrence relation and this second after, after this finding the second order recurrence relation we can have multiple order recurrence relations also but uh, see uh, this when i'm saying homogeneous recurrence relation that means these are linear homogeneous recurrence relations these are linear homogeneous recurrence relation and the second order recurrence relations are linear non homogeneous recurrence relation which i'll tell you with an example what are exactly the linear non homogeneous recurrence relations okay so this first order recurrence relation it's very easy to understand for example if i uh, say that uh, we have a recurrence relation like a n plus 1 is equal to 2 a n such that a of 0 is given as 1 so here you can see the function a n is repeating itself so it is a first order recurrence relation now further this second order recurrence relation can be divided into three parts it can be divided into three parts which are Number one is we have uh, recurrence relation which are having distinct root, recurrence relation which are having distinct and real roots. Second one is the recurrence relation which are having repeated and real roots. And the third one are the recurrence relation which are having complex roots. These are having complex roots. So these are distinct real roots repeated real roots and complex roots so we are going to discuss about all these recurrence relations in the further we have known homogeneous recurrence relation so you can say linear known homogeneous recurrence relation and this linear known homogeneous recurrence relations are kind of uh, linear uh, recurrence relations only but the only thing is they are uh, going to contain some extra functions in them and uh, uh, you know solving the recurrence relation with those functions becomes uh, you know, quite tricky as compared to the homogeneous recurrence relations okay let me just give you an example of each one of these so first one is when i'm saying we have first order recurrence relation i've given you a simple example where uh, in case of first order recurrence relation we have only one term of which is recurring on the right hand side for example if i say if i say we have a n is equal to 7 a n minus 1 so you can see on the right hand side if you compare the left hand side and the right hand side on the right hand side there is only one term which is having a recurrence right so a n is equal to a of n minus 1 okay 7 a of n minus 1 right so uh, now this is when i'm saying second order recurrence relation this se second order recurrence relations is generally given by such equations we have b a n plus 2 
plus C A uh, let me write it like this we have B of A n plus 2 plus C of A n plus 1 plus D of A n is equal to 0 right so you can see if you take these equations on the right hand side for example if you are taking these equations on the right hand side then you can see there will be exactly two relation two terms which are having a n okay so in the same way you can have recurrence relations which are of you know which will be having multiple uh, multiple terms which are repeating themselves but uh, this uh, this recurrence relation uh, when we are trying to solve we'll try to solve these recurrence relation these recurrence relation may be having distinct root uh, distinct root uh, that i'll tell you well when we'll try to solve the equation then uh, we'll see what are distinct roots they may be having repeated roots they may be having complex roots right so uh, the formulas of solving the so solution equation in uh, all these three cases will vary a, a little okay in the same way when we have non homogeneous recurrence relation it means we have a homogeneous recurrence relation plus some kind of function right for example this can also be represented with this example if you have a n is equal to uh, 3 a n minus 1 plus 2 n right so you can see there's a small difference between uh, this equation this equation and the equation which we used for the first order logic in case of first order log logic on the right hand side we have only one term which is having the a n with it but you can see in the right hand side with a n we have a term which is not having any recurring recurring term for example you have a n is equal to a of n minus 1 it is a recurring term right like here you can see it is uh, t n is equal to 2 t n by 2 right so here uh, this t n by 2 is a recurring term but you can see order of n is not a recurring term in the same way here 2 n is not a recurring term so this kind of relations where on the right hand side uh, we may be having term which are not recurring they are called as non homogeneous genius recurrence relation for example if i say that we have a term which is a n is equal to a n minus 1 plus a n minus 2 plus n square plus n plus 1 now here because of this term because of this term this is a non homogeneous recurrence relation okay see uh, you may be representing the recurrence relations in a different fashion uh, all that matters is how you are representing it for example if you have fibonacci series if you have done programs related to fibonacci series then um, or if you have studied fibonacci series the recurrence relation of fibonacci series can also be find out as fibonacci of n is fibonacci of n minus 1 plus fibonacci of n minus 2 right so this is how we are representing it okay and we know that fibonacci of 0 is 0 and fibonacci of 1 is 1 fibonacci of 1 is 1 so this is one way of representing this recurrence relation the same recurrence relation can also be represented like this a of n is equal to a of n minus 2 plus a of n minus 1 such that a of 0 is equal to 0 and a of 1 is equal to 1 so mathematically you can represent it like this right in the same way when we try to solve for the time complexity then we can represent the same relation like this t n is equal to t of n minus 2 plus t of n minus 1 right plus some constant time to evaluate uh, those terms but uh, leaving that so we have two recurring relations here okay so there may be different ways of representing the same relation but uh, in every way we, what we are trying to do with the recurrence relation is we'll try it, we're trying to represent the terms which are recurring itself which are recurring itself and there's a one single method uh, mostly when we are trying to solve the linear homogeneous recurrence relation then we are going to follow this method the procedure will be uh, proceed this procedure is pretty much the same for you know solving all the types of the only th thing which matter which will be mattering is the solution equation so procedure will be first of all we'll get the equation uh, for the recurrence relation from that equation we'll try to find what are the quadratic equation what are the quadratic equations from those e quadratic equation we'll try to find what are roots for example we have r1 r2 and so on from those roots we'll try to solve the equation with the uh, expression like a n is equal to capital a r1 raised to power n plus b r2 raised to power n so this is representing uh, a kind of a solution equation and the solution equation will, will vary for if we have distinct and real roots if we have repeated real roots or if we have complex roots as well as uh, you know how many uh, roots are there so this will vary accordingly to uh, according to that only okay so let us do one thing let us uh, jump into this topic and let us start 
the topic which is the recurrent solution so we'll start with the first order recurrent solution which is linear homogeneous recurrent solution and if you have any doubts you can just email uh, me on my email id which is given on the bottom of this um, uh, this slide so in every slide we'll i'll try to have this kind of you know bottom so you can use this email id to uh, email me at any point of time if you want to access the course you can uh, just call me on this or you can email us on this for the course information okay so uh, the lectures on youtube uh, as as uh, most of the videos you can clearly see the lectures on youtube they are not complete lectures but i'll try to provide as much lectures as possible for you but still uh, if you want to take the complete course you can uh, email me on this uh, if you like uh, my effort then definitely we can discuss about it okay